you can't buy these gems, I'm pretty... Oh, you can. Never mind. <laughs> so, I don't think they're... Oh, shit, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. This looks just like the Clash of Clans store. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This way forever. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're in Venture Quest 3D. Um, they just went into closed beta, as you can see in the bottom corner there. Closed beta. That text looks a little scrunched up on that. Um, my character is still female. They didn't let me change my character. Uh, so maybe I can delete and recreate her. I don't know, but then I'd probably lose all my gear, so I don't really want to do that. So I guess I'm just stuck a female in this game. You know, it's not that bad, you know. Uh, the characters basically look the exact same. It's kind of like Adventure Quest Worlds. Um, still no controller support for the game. I mean, um, you could fit all these keys on a controller. So, like, there's the auto attack. So, like, you got your four skills. I mean, you could move around. I mean, you could, like, use the triggers for, like, auto attack and, like, targeting and auto attack. Move the camera around with this stick. I mean, it could be something they add in the future, maybe. I don't know. I think that'd be cool, just because it's nice to like lay back and use your and use your controller. But I don't know, they don't have to add that. It is an MMO, and most people, 99% of people, will play it with keyboard and mouse. But you know, it's on Steam, so it'd be cool if they added some controller support. I'm sure that would get more people to download it on Steam. Um, still capped at 60 frames per second. We can't go above that. I mean, I never drop below that, so it doesn't have any performance issues, which shouldn't because it's made for mobile games. If you cannot tell by the UI. Um, so a lot of things are still the same, but they did add a few cool new things including a new building we can access in Yolgar, not in Yolgar, in Battlelon, my bad, called the class trainers. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, and they added an intro, so the first time you go to Battlelon, it'll play an intro, so let's play that right now for you guys. And it's actually like a live thing too, it's like the camera's panning around live, so that's where my character is. People are moving around, the guy's on there. So it'll be cool, I like the intro. I might make like a, I might take this intro and then make like a, put some music over it, make like an EQ 3D epic intro for my channel. I don't know, we'll see. Um, there are class shops in here, well, or you can just go there and get the same classes and they're free still, so you don't have to buy the classes. Or maybe you do, but I bought them before, so I have them. I don't know. Uh, I don't actually know about that, but. The settings are still mostly the same. They did add a crafting menu in here for recipes, but there are no recipes, but there is crafting in the game now. So I don't, I don't, maybe you can find crafting recipes, maybe that's something in the future, like you can farm a boss, get a crafting recipe, and then uh, go and craft that item, and then sell it on the marketplace. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, that'd be amazing if you could do that. Like, if there's like super hard, rare drops you could get that you could craft items with that drop and then you could keep crafting items and keep selling them to people. That'd be great. Like, I really wish they had an economy. I really hope, not wish, but I really hope they had an economy. Um, they didn't expand inventory space. You know, I got all these capes in my inventory and uh, yeah, a bunch of other trash in my inventory and you can't get rid of it. Well, you can, but I don't want to get rid of rare gear or anything like that. So uh, my inventory is basically stuck full. I know if you buy Guardian, which I think is still available, I'm not 100% uh, sure whether or not Guardian is still available, uh, but I think it is. And they do also have this new friends option thing. Um, summon friends, join friends. I don't know if I should be showing this, but whatever. There's my friend code. It changed since last time, I think. Um, and then your, your URL, which you can copy in the game, I guess. No, you can't copy it. Or maybe, yeah, maybe if you control C and then control V. Uh, copy, oh, well, you can click that, I guess. That would work. Uh, you can reset it. Okay. That's cool. You can copy that. Oh, that's, that's not a bad system. I mean, a real friends list where you could add, like, maybe up to a thousand friends would be great. Or, or whatever. I don't know. Like, an unlimited friends list would be awesome. Or if it's synced up with your Steam friends list. That would also be good. And I think you can have a friends list on Google Play too. So like if it did that too. Um, so here's a new crafting area. Actually, I don't think this was in the game before. Uh, not 100%, but you can craft stuff 
I didn't know about this before, so I'm guessing it's new. You can preview the items that you're going to craft. Uh, there's only two per shop, and it's just the items that they're that the guys are holding. So like that guy, you can craft his armor. That's a gold sword. Uh, that's one of the uh, what are they called? Uh, Kickstarter items. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can get her armor here. So there's a bunch of really cool stuff added. Uh, you could probably play this a lot longer now. Uh, like saw more playability to the game, which is cool. Um, another gripe about the game is that your mouse uh, can still just leave the page whenever it likes to. Um, so, say you're in like a dungeon and you're fighting like three people and you gotta move your camera real quick, your mouse will go flying across your screen into the next dimension uh, on your neighbor's monitor. Um, yeah, it's... I don't get how hard that is to code into the game. I don't know if that's a complicated thing to do, but if you could lock your mouse in it and then have to alt tab out of the game that would be great like um yeah that would be amazing and I, there's no windowed borderless mode still uh, there's only full screen and not full screen i'm playing 720p because i'm recording 720p right now so i don't want the if i play native resolution which is 16 by 10 um then it'll look weird i'm getting a 16 my 9 monitor soon uh, so i can actually record in a decent resolution that you guys uh, so it won't look all messed up in your in the video because if I do record in native resolution it looks all messed up So that's that's my little compromise uh, They had a staff. I don't think they had staffs in the game before maybe they did but I didn't see them I'm Not a fan of it, but I don't know if you're playing a mage it might be your thing. I Don't know they added dungeons. I mean, I'm only level three right now I got level three by playing the tutorial the tutorial is the same uh, it's a good tutorial. I like it. It's got cutscenes and it's got like kind of like a little text thing. They added this gem here or this jewel. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you that in here there are now microtransactions in the game. Well, not they're not officially in the game, but they're here. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot to talk about this when I was in here. So like, say this, so you can craft it, which. I don't know if you still require these items to buy now, and I don't know why you would, but apparently you can just buy the item instead of having to earn it, which I really don't like this as a microtransaction. I mean, they could remove it easily, and they, like they could change it easily. I'm sure they could, but um, a one hour, mm, mm, oh, I was talking about this on stream yesterday, or the other day, a one hour craft time. So I'm guessing you, you still need these for the craft but if you spend your your real life money you know you you don't have to wait an hour don't please don't do this artix entertainment if anyone from artix entertainment is watching this video don't put timers on things if you want to make it hard to get if you want to make it so it takes uh, a lot of time for playing the game then do that but if i have to like so if I have to farm for a few hours in game, then log out an hour and then come back, that's just I'm gonna lose interest in the game real fast. I do in a lot of games. Uh, that's the reason why I stopped playing a lot of freemium type games, and I really hope that this game doesn't uh, start like a freemium model like that. Um, not a fan of it. Never have been. I really don't like dailies in Adventure Quest Worlds. I don't like anything that. Uh, locks the time in like there's a set amount of time that you have that you have to wait if I want I like it where if you can do it faster then if you have the knowledge to do it faster then you can do it faster or you can take your time doing it you can do it at your own pace if you want to be sanic and you want to speed through it and you want to get four of your friends and kill everything as fast as possible and grind it out as as long as you can and as fast as you can and get it faster than everyone else that's how it should be it shouldn't be that you have everyone has to wait an hour it's that's it's silly I I could rant on about this for a long time but I didn't realize that earlier so they are you can't buy these gems I'm pretty oh you can never mind <laughs> so I don't think they're oh shit dude oh no oh no this looks just like the clash of clans store oh no Oh no. Oh no. What? What is this? There's a $50 pack. Oh my god. The Elite Guardian Rider transformation. That must be the one on the horse. 
Oh jeez. Okay, well we're in close beta guys. We got the microtransactions in the game. You can buy 15,000 of those gems. Or you can- oh my god. Shit. A $50 set. Uh, that, that's probably your best value right there. You know, you get 10,000 of the gems, which is like $20 worth. And then you get the, uh, you get a mount. Which, if this goes rare, then that'll be worth it. But I, I really doubt this will ever go rare. It's a pre-order right now. Um, and I might get it. I don't, I don't know. Uh, they did change. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's so, okay. They gotta remove the time stuff. I really, especially on crafting. I mean, if I have to like sit in an anvil and like watch a little thing go like that when I'm crafting items, I'm fine with that. As long as it doesn't take three hours, you know? If it takes like 10 seconds to craft something, I'm cool with that. So they changed the auto attack sound for War Ear. I don't know when they changed it. I haven't played since they announced that they were gonna wipe uh, levels, so. It's very, I like it now. It's a lot better than it was before, which before I think it sounded like you were hitting a stick on a barrel or something. It sounded really weird. Um, the jump sounds different. It actually sounds like you're landing on something, which is cool. I mean, you probably can't hear it over the sound of my loud ass keyboard. So how long does it take to like craft this? One hour. I don't like that. I hope they change that. I mean, I know you gotta put microtransactions in somehow, but I hope you just do it like you do in Adventure Quest Worlds, where you can buy um, items and stuff like that. And I know that they're not gonna have a, a membership system, which I wish they did. I like the membership system. It's kind of like, I, I don't know, it just adds a lot to the game. and I like it. Um, and I don't mind paying for it either, because there's good value in the membership system. Um, but as far as this gem system goes, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of the adventure coins in AQ, to be honest, um, because they run out so quickly. Like you, you buy adventure coins and they're gone within a few minutes. Um, but a membership, you buy that and you have it for a month or three months or however long. I would really honestly just like if it's long. Oh, 40 minutes? Did they just... Oh, that's for the blade. Never mind. <laughs> so, oh, that's... I don't mind paying the 100 gems to craft faster. Like, that's fine. But I, there shouldn't be a timer in the first place. It just feels like I'm playing Candy Crush or like Clash of Clans or something when you put timers in MMOs like this. I know it's going to be a mobile game, and that's how most mobile games are monetized. But someone has to break the mold and change how that works. On Google Play, at least on Google, I don't know about um, Apple, you can implement uh, monthly payments. Um, they do that for Google Play Music, and I think Apple Music has the same thing. Um, I would like a membership system in the game over this time thing. Um, you could add that later in, too. Like, say, if you're a member and you pay, like, whatever it is, like, it could be the same as Venture Quest Worlds. A little bit more, a little bit less, who knows. Um, but if you add that kind of system into the game, maybe all the timers go 50% faster. I don't know. Like, it's just something into the game where you don't have to pay gems every time you want to craft an item. Okay, well, I've talked about this for way too long. Um, there's dungeons added. Friends lists were added. Uh, the options are the same. I hope, hopefully, they'll add more options to the game, more different graphical options and stuff like that. I would like to be able to tune my anti-aliasing, um, and different kind of stuff like that. Uh, maybe if you're on a lower end PC, being able to turn down particle effects and stuff like that. I don't know if that's what that slider does. It might, but I really don't like sliders. I'm a big fan of like a list of things that you can turn on or off for more customization. Um, I don't know if anyone actually watches this video from Artist Entertainment, but if they do, hopefully they take some of my some of my thoughts into consideration. Um, so I think that's about it in Yolgar. I mean, I'm not high enough level to go through any of the dungeons yet, of course, because I think that's like well, they did increase the level cap to 15, and they made gold harder to earn, and a bunch of other stuff. They tweaked the uh, mage class on the 25th, which was a few days ago, but I I tried it earlier and it's still bad. It's still probably the worst well that rogue ah, just, ah. 
best class in the game right now. It's the one you pay for. Um, whew, okay, so the game has microtransactions now. It has timers now. Whew, got a lot of timers. Settings the same. Um, there's a few new dungeons added for late game content. I'll probably stream this and grind out some more levels. Uh, hopefully you were informed by this video. If you were, leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the Adventure Quest 3D update. Um, I'll probably do a video on the dungeons when I get to the level where I can play them. Um, I don't think there was any new places added. These all look like they were the same before. Actually, there might be new places. Oh yeah, and they have a bunch of coming soon. It's like the barber shop got a uh, storefront. So you see the barber pole and all that stuff over there. So that's about it for this video. I just want to, basically I just made this video to tell you my thoughts on the new update. I didn't know microtransactions were in the game at the beginning of this. I don't know if you can actually buy them yet. I'm guessing you can. Oh, okay. <laughs> but why is there flies here? I, yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on this uh, closed beta situation. And I'll be back at it again with another video coming soon. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.